Hello, my name is Kate, and I'm a volunteer guide with Heritage Montreal. For this Trudes block, we will take a walk around St. Louis Square, once the site of an open-air water reservoir, which proved inadequate in the 1852 Great Fire. The reservoir was decommissioned in 1869 with the opening of the McTavish Reservoir. It took 10 years for the site to dry, and it was only in 1879 that the square was landscaped. Before we enter St. Louis Square, look around at the residential architecture. Built primarily between 1880 and 1920, the streets surrounding St. Louis Square were home to the Francophone intellectual elite. The St. Louis Square is at the northern limit of the Quartier Latin, the French-speaking university neighborhood of the 19th century. The Victorian homes are often finished with an abundance of ornamentation, notably done in worked wood and built using noble materials such as slate and stone. The Second Empire style is prevalent around the square. Beginning in the 1930s and 40s, with the ascension of Outremont as the new French intellectual neighborhood, many of the houses surrounding the square became rooming homes, rooming houses, and apartments. In the 1970s, a type of revitalization began with media and cultural personalities buying houses around the square. This led to its restoration in the 1980s. Turning our attention to the Vespasien, it was built in the 1930s under the make-work programs created by then-Mayor Chameleon Hood. Originally located in Square Vigée, this octagonal former public toilet was moved to Square Saint-Louis in the early 1970s. Just to the southwest of the Vespasien is the monument to Émile Nelligan by Rosalind Granet. Installed in 2005, the bust is done in bronze, granite, and limestone, paying tribute to the 19th century poet Emile Nelligan, who lived near the square. The land use map from the city of Montreal shows the rectangular footprint of the old reservoir from 1851, with the fountain situated in its center. The 1895 cast iron fountain was manufactured by the Mott's Iron Work Company of New York. The present basin is a construction done in 1984. In 1968, the basin had been transformed into a children's playground. The monument to Octave Cremazie was installed in 1906. It is the work of Louis-Philippe Hébert, an artist responsible for many public monuments of the 19th century in Montreal. Octave Cremazie was a 19th century man of letters, a poet, and a bookseller. In 1858, he published the poem Drapeau de Carillon, establishing him as a national poet. The flag he refers to is the flag used by Montcalm during the Fort Carillon battle. This flag was the inspiration for Quebec's flag. The monument was moved in 1973 to the corner of Cremazy and St. Vance, it returned to the square in 2002. Our last sculptures are two works by Armand Vaillancourt. There is Non Titre from 1972 and the Sainte Trinité of 1965, originally located in the Botanical Gardens and moved to the square in 1972. As a home to works of public art, heritage structures, and centennial trees, St. Louis Square has been throughout its history a pleasant place to meet with friends and relax. I hope you have enjoyed your Trudes Bleu in a responsible way, respecting physical distances.